First, we look at two stars who seem to have it all figured out. From Denzel to Disney, both escaped the pitfalls of growing up famous from two very different points of view. But now, on the heels of his 2019 Golden Globe nomination and her 2020 Emmy win, these two forces have joined together to make cinematic magic. Zendaya and John David's road to Golden Glory is tonight's central story. I'm proud of the movie, but I'm more so even proud of like how it was how, how it was made. Look at me. I'm the last person standing. A huge kind of driving factor in wanting to create something was also our Euphoria crew kind of being um, also out of work um, because of everything being shut down. They shot this movie from the middle of June to the beginning of July in 2020. So Malcolm and Marie is one of the first movies to shoot and get finished during the pandemic. Zendaya not only stars in the film, she is also an executive producer, which means that she kind of co-owns the movie. If there was a way that we can get them back to work, but also get them paid in a real way on the back end, then we wanted to do that. So we kind of figure out this financial structure so that our people got points too. If there is a revenue stream to get points on here, it comes from the $30 million fee that Netflix paid to acquire Malcolm and Marie out of the Toronto Film Festival. $30 million up front for a film that only cost 2.5 mil to make. The moody black and white drama immediately sparked Oscar buzz for both its stars. Well, what is it, Marie? What do you want? Really? Do you want to go there? Yes. Okay. It pairs two of the hottest black emerging uh, talent in, you know, in the form of Zendaya and uh, John David Washington. John David Washington, <laughs> for those of you living under a rock, is the son of two-time Oscar winner Denzel Washington. After amassing an increasingly impressive acting resume, including Ballers, Black Klansman, for which he was Golden Globe nominated, and last year's Tenant, John David says he's still working on carving out his own identity. The reason I wasn't doing press early on was to form my own identity. I just want the work to be shown. You want control, because you can't imagine the reason I'm with you is because I love you. John David was also a producer on Malcolm and Marie, so if both he and the film itself are nominated, big things are to come, says Gil Robertson of the African American Film Association. It would be a historic moment because much like his dad, he would become the second African American and the youngest to be nominated for a double Oscar, you know, for uh, Best Actor as well as, you know, producer of the film, Best Picture. And Malcolm and Marie is produced by my daughter, Tatia. John David's 33-year-old sister is also a producer on the film, but the family connections don't stop there. And my daughter, my daughter's in Little Things. 29-year-old Olivia Washington is starring alongside their famous father, Denzel, in The Little Things on HBO Max, January 29th. She has this ability that I wish I had. Like, she can tell, like Zendaya too, like she can tell a story without saying a word. Zendaya's meteoric rise from 2010's Shake It Up to her Emmy-winning Euphoria performance has been by design, according to film critic and entertainment journalist Scott Mance. She couldn't shake the Disney uh, child star image anymore if she tried, and she is trying. All I wanted tonight was a thank you, Malcolm. That is it. But Zendaya represents so much more than a talented thespian to millions around the globe. Zendaya has the three things you need to be an A-list star. She's got the talent, she's got the hit shows, and she's got that groundbreaking style that people worship. Kelsey Stigman, senior style editor at Seventeen, says the 24-year-old's fashion choices place her above nearly anyone else in Hollywood. With COVID restrictions, 2020 turned out a lot of really disappointing magazine covers, but Zendaya was a grade above the rest. She turned out not one, but three gorgeous covers. And if Academy Award nominated, Zendaya would be the youngest producer in Oscar history. So certainly if she gets an Oscar, she will literally, really be at the very top of her craft.
Talk about a Hollywood takeover. These two are on fire. And you can check them out in Malcolm and Marie when it starts streaming on Netflix February 5th. Incredible performances. I couldn't agree more. And now moving on to some other movers and shakers. These celebrities are literally throwing their weight around Hollywood. While COVID has expanded the waistline of many, these stars got quarantine snatched. Now we go inside Celebrity Fit Club, the pandemic edition. Our bodies have changed a lot during COVID, some for the good, some for the bad. I've lost 40 pounds, so I'm pretty proud, but at the same time, I'm not satisfied. <sighs> Tiffany Haddish is just one of the many members of the pandemic's Celebrity Fit Club. After losing 40 pounds, Tiffany decided she wasn't ready. I want the re re. I want the washboard abs. I don't like when I body yada yada yada. You see all that? I don't, I don't like all that. I want that tight. So she embraced a 30-day transformation program. Push it, push it, push it. Exercising every day and eating a ton of veggies. And there was also a vegan diet that got 12-time Grammy nominee Jasmine Sullivan Super Bowl ready. The 33-year-old Super Bowl entertainer with stellar pipes is now 50 pounds lighter. Celebrities have such a huge reach of millions of fans, and when they take care of themselves, that they're just an incredible example. Celebrity trainer Jeanette Jenkins and creator of the HollywoodTrainerClub.com makes it clear COVID restrictions aren't designed to restrict our health. We have to make the best of the situation for our mental health and just our health in general. A lot of my clients, their number one concern has been to make sure that their lungs are strong and that their immune system is strong. It's been a pretty shit year for most people. A lot of terrible things going on. I nicknamed 2020 the year of health. Rebel Wilson entered Hollywood with this infamous Pitch Perfect nickname. What's your name? Fat Amy. But after introducing her fans to a new boyfriend and a new way of living, the 40-year-old actress got fit. Rebel reportedly dropped over 40 pounds. Her sweet tooth led to eating around 3,000 calories a day before examining why food became her personal crutch. I was determined to actually change my whole entire lifestyle, but it was the emotional stuff about realizing why I was overeating, why I was emotionally eating, and trying to solve that. I know I look really, really different since you last saw me. Adele's jaw-dropping October SNL appearance still has us reeling after reportedly losing close to 100 pounds. Because of all the COVID restrictions and the travel bans, I had to travel light and only bring half of me. And this is the half that I chose. She went from like normal and overweight, and then it was like skinny and looked amazing. But with Rebel, I would like send her a message in Instagram just being like, oh my God, we're literally at like the same spot in this journey. Slim downed Tony Award winning actress Marissa Jared Wanoker admits pandemic concerns got her moving again. If you looked at like my health record, you'd say she's going to get COVID and she's going to die. I'm obese. Check. I've had cancer. Check. I have high blood pressure. Check, check. This is the first time in 28 years that I've been able to stop and focus on myself. I mean, by the way, Busta Rhymes six pack is outrageous. 48 year old Busta Rhymes turned his belly fat into an impressive six pack. The COVID lockdown allowed the rapper more time with his personal trainer, pushing some heavy metal, eating a lot of lean proteins and drinking a lot less alcohol. You eat junk food and you drink alcohol excessively, that is what you're giving your body to make up your cells. Your cells will then be toxic and sick and you'll feel toxic and sick. So now you know, abs are made in the kitchen, not just in the gym. All right, we'll be right back with more Central Ave, but first, a super fit Jasmine Sullivan takes us to the break with some serious vocal exercises. Here's the incredible acoustic version of her latest single, Pick Up Your Feelings. Don't forget to come and pick up your... Ooh, be 